Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Hardcore Minecraft. All right, listen, I heard you guys' comments last episode. And yes, this house does look like Perry the Platypus, okay? <laughs> I didn't realize it until I posted it, but everyone was commenting. Oh my God, it's the Perry the Platypus house. Oh my God. Okay, I, I, I see it. I get it. And... You guys have ruined my art. <laughs> but in today's episode, I want to work on our city a little bit more because I have a really good idea. And a lot of you guys have suggested a lot of cool ideas for our city. So let's head over there out in the, the foggy distance and through our birch forest. Let's head over to our city. All right. So over here in the city, I want to start adding in some more details, uh, especially to our street corners here. And I was thinking of adding street lamps and like street signs because I want to start labeling all of these streets. So I have a really cool design here. Wait, actually, let me pull it up. Two, three, four. And then we place a andesite stair slab. And then we go up another two blocks. Can I do that? Ah, slab and two more slabs. All right. And there we can do a little bit of this lever. <laughs> Not like that. And then, oh, okay. It's You can kind of see it. You can kind of see the shape. All right, and the final touches, we add in our warp sign and then the banya. Boom. That, okay, that's a street light right there. That is a street post. I don't know what you call this because it's also, it's a traffic light and an actual light up there. Right here, we can start labeling our streets. So I'll just call this like first street, you know, all caps. And then I don't have any glow ink, but we glow ink that sign in. But there we go. That's our street light. I might, mm, I might shrink this in by one block. Uh, that's pretty good. And it takes up a lot less space too. It's a little bit less busy. All right, but that's not all we're going to be doing in the city today. I want to work. I want to work on a little special project, a little special section in this area of our uh, city. And I think it's going to be called Little Tokyo. Yeah, I want to do some more uh, like Japanese cyberpunk because I was trying to stray away from it, to be honest, but it's just so cool. Like I've been playing cyberpunk to get, to help me get inspiration and such and like the japanese market area they have in that game is just so cool so i really want to start implementing that and i think we're going to do it on this street right here we'll finish out the road and i think this like you know so you, this will be the entrance into the city which we actually we really need to work on this too maybe we'll do that before but when you come in i want it so when you first come in here and on the right side here it'll be all little like little tokyo we'll call it for now uh and then on the left here will be a lot more like industrial and like business so i think like this section over here will be a little bit more business like this block and then over here we might have like some more clubs this might be like where all the clubs are on this side of the street and on this side so yeah but i'm more excited to work on little tokyo so i think we should uh dip our feet in i might make one more lamp post actually i'm kind of kind of tempted to do one this way Okay, I got greedy. I made another one. <laughs> I don't have a, I need to make more banners though. I don't have a lot of black dye right now, so I need to grind some more of that. Okay, yeah, this is looking really good. I don't know if I want to do one on every corner, you know, like at every intersection for there to be, you know, four of these street lamps, just because there's not a lot of space. So I might kind of just do like a little diagonal where it covers like these two, or maybe this will be flipped on the other side. I don't, I don't know yet, but I like how this looks a lot. So without further ado, Let's get working on our little Tokyo. My God, I can't believe that just happened. I did that. Oh my God. Oh, dude, I might cry. <laughs> I'm at a loss for words right now. I'm at a loss. Oh my God. That's him right there. My day wanner. Oh my God. I gotta hold a funeral. 
I've never been this upset about a, a Minecraft horse dying. Oh my god. For like, that happened, I paused my game, and I think my my hands were over my mouth for probably two minutes. In just shock. And then, <laughs> I'll admit it, I tried crashing my game to see if I, <laughs> if I could save him. I, I went through the stages of grief, I went through denial. Oh my god. You, die. Die, you stupid creeper. Oh my god, I did that. That was my fault. I hit the creeper and it knocked straight into the Giuseppe and I was too close to the creeper and it blew up. I just, I, I, I don't know what to do. I need, I, we, I'm stopping what I'm doing and I'm holding a memorial right now. I bring you all here today to celebrate the life of my best friend, Giuseppe. Giuseppe was a noble steed. He was there from the very start, episode two to be in fact. He was always there by my side, my ups, my downs, the good moments, the bad moments. Ever since I tamed Giuseppe, I knew he'd always be there for me. But now I have to be there for him. I must grow and learn to live without him. It'll take me a while, but I'll never forget him. Rest easy, Giuseppe. God rest your soul. And I'm sorry. <laughs>
And here we are at our fancy brand new little Tokyo area in our cyberpunk city. I'm so in love with all these buildings here. So we already went over these two earlier. I did end up getting some glow ink sacks. I found, whoa, wait, what the F? Hey, oh, oh my God. Oh, <laughs> My shulker monster was hidden from you guys. <laughs> okay, so right here on this andesite block, I found all the way down there, there's a waterlogged cave and there's a bunch of glow squid spawning down there. So that's where I've been getting my glow ink from. And now there's a giant freaking hole there. Um, You know what? That'll do. But yes, we have our first building here that we made is our fish market. And I'm absolutely in love with all the detailing here. It's very similar to our other brown building over here. Uh, but went with a little bit of a darker brown using some spruce wood and uh, texturing it kind of with some oak wood and a little bit of brown wool in there too and the acacia wood. Uh, shout out B-dubs for this palette. I did take some inspiration from his palette with this. Uh, he uses like purple and other fancy colors with it. I am a little too scared to use those colors. <laughs> so I kind of kept it fairly neutral, but I did throw in the acacia wood, which works like way too well with the spruce wood. It has a very similar like contrast to it. And then the oak wood with that darker parts in the texture kind of has a bit more of a darkness to it. So it works really well as a shadow. And I kind of just used it occasionally for uh, regular texturing as well. Uh, but yeah, there's like our little fish market here. There's not really a lot of fish to show off, but I did throw in some fishing rods and kind of just added a bunch of uh, plants and foliage because it's, a, you know, it always looks good. Then right here we have kind of tucked away. It's a little hard to see, but it's more for the arch. We have like this bridge. Let me back up a little bit. We have like this bridge back here, kind of creating a nice little separation between um, this section right here. And then eventually we're gonna expand further out this way and have way more of little Tokyo over this way, which I think would look super cool. And then right here in the hole in the wall, we have like a little ramen shop. I love these banners. I had a lot of fun with the banners today. You can tell I even added some katakana. Uh, signs they're all gibberish all right i'll admit it <laughs> uh there's a few like uh katakana symbols i guess uh, or like letters that you can't quite make in banners so for both of these i was trying to write uh store and i was trying to write market on these and after some a lot of deliberation in a uh, in a creative world trying to create these banners uh for the proper symbols i gave up and i made that i grabbed the coolest ones and i threw them on the signs <laughs> Something that I think is really fun and really cool with these, uh, these are supposed to be like neon signs, right? Kind of lighting up and showing what the shop is. I added these end rods on the sides. I didn't do a full ring around it because I think it'd be a little too much, but I kind of kept it on the sides of it. And it really creates that neon effect. Like it definitely lights up the sign, but also just like, I don't know what it is, but it kind of works like in, entirely on its own. It, it makes it feel like a neon sign. So I think those are super cool. Uh, then we have a bunch of like string lights right here and some banners on there too. We got a little uh, a chain line going through here. Just wanted to add a bunch of stuff to look at, like right above the street. I want it to look really busy and like really, uh, really active here. So like eventually when we get other buildings on this right side here, we'll do the same thing. We'll run some string lights across and some chains and some pipes and all that fancy stuff. And it'll look really cool. And most importantly, we have our new tallest building. This used to be our tallest building. And now this behemoth is using all this tough. It looks uh, pretty sick. I'm really happy with the palette and the shape, especially. Let's get a little cheat cam going. Here it is from a little bit of a better angle. We went with a really angular kind of look and then throwing in a square as the backdrop. I'm so in love with how this building looks. I believe this in Katakana says TNT or boom. I can't remember. I think it says boom. Uh, and then on this left side here, we got like a creeper drink and a TNT. So could you guess what this building's purpose is going to be? That's right, a creeper farm. Yes, I wanna make a creeper farm because uh, we had to avenge Giuseppe's death and Giuseppe perished to a creeper. So I think it's only fit that we murder the entirety of the creeper kind, uh, all in one building, of course, and then we advertise it with advertisements. <laughs> but I'm super happy that this uh, turned out. I even got a little bit of green in there, like green energy, because creepers are green. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to add in a little bit of a stripe there. And I think I'm gonna add in a little bit more of that in that corner up there or probably another billboard. I don't know which one yet. But even with these billboards up here, I did that same uh, end rod border that I did with the signs over there. And it looks so cool. It really, really helps with the whole uh, aesthetic of going for a billboard. So I might even update this sign here and do the same thing with the end rods and kind of surround uh, this section with it. And also a lot of you guys were suggesting I change this to my face. So I think we'll do that. Uh, actually, let's do that right now. All right, what blocks do my face need? Let's see. 
I need yellow, blue, green, pink, and red. Uh, I guess we'll do it with concrete. That just makes the most sense. I think I have... Oh my god, I'm so low on sand. I've been using too much glass. So boom, bang, bada, boop, bang, uh, word, sound effect. Okay, there's all of our fancy colors. Oh, I might need some gray too. Do I have gray? Oh, the light gray might work. Oh, look at that. Oh, that building is so... I love this building so much. It, it really... The shape is just so good for like a cyberpunk city. It works way too well. So I need to experiment more with those types of shapes. Still not too entirely happy with this building. I might work on like the sides here a bit more. I do like the slant on it. I think the front is fine, but I'll definitely need to work on the slant on the sides there. Uh, anyways, getting distracted. Let me grab some scaffolding, which I already have in my inventory. Perfect. So let's see, can my face fit in this section right here? How big is this? One, two, three. Oh, it's six wide. Uh, I could make it one wider. Let's see what we can manage. Will my face look like again? Okay, that, that, that. All right, how's that one look? Hey, is that my face? Is that accurate? Oh, you know what? I made it one too tall on the, I need, my eyes are a little too tall. <laughs> Actually, it might be fine because I got rid of the double chin because it looks a little strange. You know, we'll just leave it how it is. You get the idea, you know? Our face is now installed. Oh, I like that. I like that so much more. Yeah, that's fun. That's really fun. Thank you guys for that suggestion. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, but now I think it's time for an upgrade, people. Upgrades! Everyone taking the view, taking the beautiful clouds. I think it's time for us to update to the new Tricky Trials update and do a trial chamber. I'm so excited to do one. I've never done a trial chamber before. I've been prepping for this. And I think it's gonna be a lot of fun trying to find one and everything. So let's update to 1.21. Here we are. Oh man, the game looks the same, honestly. <laughs> we still have our uh, fancy clouds. They're just the regular Minecraft clouds today, which I mean, to be honest, they don't look bad. All right, I'll give Minecraft that credit, but you know, I like my fancy clouds. They look way better. <laughs> so let's fix up our inventory. Oh my gosh, it's just so freaking bad right now. So when I was updating, I cleared out some of our older chunks around the area to hopefully help us find a trial chamber. And the plan is quite simple, really. So we're going to get a cartographer from our villagers and we're going to get a trial chamber map, which will lead straight to a trial chamber, hopefully nearby a cartographer table. How do cartographer? All right, but let's grab a villager. Boop, boop, boom, bing. Do you want to become a cartographer? Perfect. I will buy your finest of maps, sir. Ocean Explorer, is this what we want? Oh no, we always get an Ocean Explorer map. Glass panes for emeralds? You're weird. What the F? Okay, let's get some glass panes. That's pretty cheap. All right, let's just make a quick little stack of thems. That is way more glass panes than I thought I was gonna make. <laughs> Hello, cow. Yo, don't leave. You've been hanging out in here for so long, man. All right, give us trial chamber map. <gasps> yeah, let's go. We got actually so lucky with that. All right, we gotta make one compass okay and we got our boom trial chamber map oh okay so we're kind of close to it too which is nice i guess we'll just head over there now actually wait i have one thing i want to do before we go over there so i mentioned last episode that i thought netherite armor and diamond armor protected the same amount and technically they do but there's something better about netherite armor that diamond can't do there's this attribute on armor called armor toughness you can see it there plus two armor toughness now uh, netherite armor has more armor toughness, which prevents us from taking as much damage, like from burst damage. Like I think creepers and such like that will take less damage from like a creeper explosion or anything of that similar sort. So it will help protect us from like big bursts of damage, but it'll protect the same amount as like diamond armor would. So it is worth upgrading, but not by much. So I have a few more pieces of ancient debris here. I was able to, to scrap up and I don't have any gold on me. Craft our netherite ingots. So we can upgrade three pieces of our armor, which means I'll probably just upgrade our boots, pants, and chest plate. And our helmet's invisible, so we'll just leave it how it is right now. But we will need to do that for sure. Oh, I need freaking upgrade templates. Boom. Bang. Auto boot bang. Full netherite. Not full, but close. 
Oh, way more menacing. It looks kind of big on me. Am I crazy? <laughs> but we should be way more protected than we were before now, which is really exciting. Now, I kind of wish there was a different like uh, upgrade tier we could do other than netherite because I did the black is cool, but it's like too cool. I kind of like the blue of diamond, you know, like diamond's pretty sick, but we got to stay protected because I don't want to freaking perish from a stupid creeper. All right, let's go explore and find this map. So we need to head south uh never never eat soggy waffles west southwest this way right yeah this way cool towards the mountain peak oh i don't have my lights on embarrassing hopefully it doesn't take us too long to find this but hopefully this is a brand new trial chamber that we can explore and i'm so excited to see what happens i've i don't know what's in store with me oh just need to go south now okay cool oh look we got new terrain right here loading in Oh, an igloo. Oh, it's a village. Wait, dude, this village is... <laughs> that looks so out of place down here. Oh, I went too far. It's over by the ice right here. Okay, cool. So do we just dig straight down right at the uh, the map entrance here? Right around her? Yeah, I think we just dig down right here. Chest plate on. Map out of hand. Oh, do I have an extra shulker? Or I can just throw empty and empty, 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 empty. You are full of ah. Oh, I should bring an empty shulker just in case. I'm gonna get a lot of stuff, aren't I? I will mark it with a stone cutter. <laughs> Get it back. Where's that? Where's that? There it is. Our stone cutter. <laughs> and I guess we'll just uh, you know, do all classic DSD. Dig straight down. You know it. You love it. Oh, oh. I don't think I'm near it yet. I do want this glow squid though. I'm not gonna lie. Come here. Thank you. Is it in here? I still don't see it. Oh, this is it right here. All right, we're breaking in. Uh, okay. Oh, oh my. This is not the room I expected to enter into. Interesting. All right, let's do it. Oh my gosh, so much copper. I'm so excited to tear down this entire thing and steal all of its copper for all of my glory. Okay, so we got pots. Oh, and they drop stuff. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff to steal. So should I just break? Oh, no way! Do I already got a music disc? Sick. Wait, so how do I break these to get the, the bricks? Do I have to shoot it? I do. And then I get the sherds like that. Okay, cool. Flower pots. I'm just breaking everything. Okay, hold on. So I do know that we can get keys, I think. Dang, efficiency five? We can get keys from breaking those pots. Oh, there it is. Oh my god, we got a trial key. Okay, so now if we find a chest or a vault, right? Oh my gosh, there's so much to explore. Plenty of honeycomb. Oh, and that's a vault right here. Okay. Ooh, wait. Is it... Oh. Wait, that's it? The wind charges are cool. How do these work? Oh, it's like a snowball. Okay. And then... Oh, I didn't take any fall damage. So I can use this to kind of get around a little bit. Okay, I see. I see. Blocks are these. Oh, it's concrete. <laughs> okay, not everything is new. I want to fight. Oh, okay. So that is an ominous fault. So we need to kill pillager captains and we get that so pillager captains aren't as big of a deal anymore which is so nice i'm so glad they made that change hot pots oh okay we activated one sword silverfish i won potato dude that's all you gave me was potatoes what the f there's this whole upstairs area and this kind of leads over to here any other like rooms i can go into what about up here is there any doors up here no doors. How about down here? Oh, yeah, here's a door. <laughs> nice. Dude, these are all dead ends. What the F? Okay, hold on. Maybe it goes more over here. What is this? Like a vent? Like a Among Us vent? It is. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of fun. Wait, okay. We have to find another freaking entrance or something. Let's see. We came in over here. Yeah, right there. Okay, actually, there's a way more down here. Let's just dig down. Oh, beds! You know, I can't really respawn, unfortunately, but... Okay. Can I MLG wind charge? 
Sick. What the chest? What are you here for? They add chests in so you can dump your inventory. Okay, this is a battle room. I'm ready to battle. Oh, it's the breeze. Wait, easy? Wait, am I just too OP for a trial chamber? Oh. Oh, one more. Dude, stop giving me slowness. Oh, you're dripped. So you gave me chicken. You gave me bread. Okay, so these rewards aren't all that good. I just want a trial key. Okay, more of these guys. Let's go for them. I am getting bones from these, so this is pretty lit. Trick shot. What the husks? Wait, these are husks, right? Interesting. Oh my gosh, my inventory is so full. Oh, potion of regen. That's, see, that's okay. That's pretty decent. That's a good drop. Don't need, I actually will keep those feathers, ironically. Okay, that wasn't too difficult. Ow. Uh, is there anything more this way? No. Okay, my issue is, how do we get trial keys? Like, actually get trial keys. I can't be breaking all the pots. That would take too long. <gasps> okay, we got one more. Nice. We can go back to that room and see if, oh, there's something here. Okay. So it seems like this is more worth be doing an ominous vault. Oh, <gasps> an enchanted bow. Oh, it's not bad. Guster, sweet. Okay, so we got a new batter pattern. That one's pretty cool too. So I'm excited to try that one out. A little, little styling. Keys, keys, keys. I want keys. Oh, if I use my sword, it makes it into bricks, which is way more useful. Wait, I'm kind of goaded at PvP. Oh, is that it? Oh, okay, so it's a really rare chance of getting just a straight trial key. That is good to know. Oh, another key. Oh, that's so huge. Wait, this is pretty cool. I like this. This is fun. Okay, let's go upstairs here. Oh, we got a vault. They do have a lot of these chests just to dump your junk in. Oh, we have two to open. Perfect. Oh, we got a, we got a, we got a, we got a trim. The bolt. Oh, that's so cool. I'm so excited to start trimming my armor. Especially now that we have um, netherite armor, we can kind of do some fun stuff with that. But look at that. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, that's it? Okay, I'm not picking that up. <laughs> Bamboo signs. The chests are just full of the most random stuff ever. What's in this room? Whoa. Oh, okay, we got more breezes. Oh, oh that's it. Okay. Oh, shoot. Dang, these guys were hitting me. These guys are the only ones that are actually doing damage to me. Leave me alone. <laughs> Relentless. Oh, shield. I actually kind of need a shield. <laughs> oh, and there's a whole downstairs area here. Oh, and another vault. Oh, there's so many vaults in here. So there's two more. Wow. They said, let there be vault for real. What do these breeze rods do? Oh, they make more of those. I want them. They're fun. Okay, is there anything else in this area? There's that door we already went down, right? And then... Is there anything on this second level? All right, let me use our trial key. Now I wonder, okay, so there's an item preview in there. <gasps> Diamonds. So I wonder if we use our trial key in time, will we get something good? Like an enchant, I just saw an enchanted book go by. A trident, did I just see a trident? Oh, ominous potion also might be worth. I didn't get it. Oh, you have to do it preemptively. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It takes a second, but that, oh, we were so close to getting the, the tridents, dang it. All right, but I think that's it for this place. We need to probably come back with the ominous key, but I think we're gonna come back here and we're gonna freaking this place is gonna be torn down, no copper remains. <laughs> Cause look how much copper there is. Oh my gosh, it's gonna make copper, like building with copper and detailing with copper so much easier and not have to waste a bajillion years doing that. Yeah, overall, I think uh, the trial chambers are pretty fun. I think we need to get the full experience to actually fully understand this place. But I had a good time running around here. I think I'm a little too OP for it right now. If I was like iron armor, maybe low enchanted diamond armor, this would be pretty rewarding and like pretty fun. But I'm full netherite. So like a little too easy for me right now. Can I make that? Oh, oh. All right, guys, I think that's going to do it for today's episode. I hope you had a good deal of fun with me. And, you know, we today we celebrated the life of Giuseppe. But, you know, a noble steed he was indeed. And, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of funny because I was just talking about how I wanted to get a better horse than Giuseppe. Because Giuseppe wasn't, like, the fastest horse, you know. He was the nicest horse. He was the coolest horse, I would say, personally. But over here at Bars Ranch, we've been slowly working on 
breeding up a, a horse. And right now, I think we have two horses that are pretty good. I think it's these two guys right here. So this guy. Oh, I can't see their speed. Oh, because I'm on 121 now. Oh, dang it. Well, I'm pretty sure this red and blue guy right now are our prime subjects. I think they're like a 12-3 and like a 12-8 speed. So they're pretty good right now, but I want to get even... Uh, an even faster horse. I think the maximum is like a 14.5 or something like that. So we'll be slowly breeding those guys up in the background, but that's going to do it for today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. There wasn't a lot of building. I mean, there was a lot of building, but not as many, like not a lot of variety of building because I really wanted to do the trial chambers and I had so much fun doing those. So hopefully in the future, when we find ourselves another pillager captain, we can go back and do an ominous trial and hopefully get ourselves the new mace because i think the mace is pretty cool it's pretty gimmicky but i think it's always pretty fun to have those gimmicky uh weapons in the game but anyways that's gonna do it for today's episode i hope you guys enjoyed of course if you're new here make sure you get subscribed and if you enjoyed the content and you want to join our private server you can uh join as a member and join the discord all right that's gonna do it thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys next week